In Creo Parametric 7.0, multiple bodies are supported in sheet metal design. In this case, we start with a construction body extracted from a master model part that represents the space claim for the final sheet metal bracket. This body, as well as the copied body that will become the sheet metal bracket, so far still reside in a regular geometry part. You can now convert a selected single basic solid body to a sheet metal body, identified by a body icon colored in green. In addition to the body conversion, the entire part is converted to a sheet metal part during this operation. Now, sheet metal specific commands such as edge rip, join or edge bend can be used to further design the sheet metal body. As a quick intermediate test whether the sheet metal geometry still respects the maximum space claim defined by the original construction body, we can use Boolean operations to subtract the construction body from the sheet metal bracket body. For the test to be successful, this operation needs to entirely consume the geometry and the remaining volume of the sheet metal body should be zero. Note that in addition to the model tab, there is a sheet metal tab. New and existing commands dedicated to interacting with sheet metal and solid bodies are provided in the sheet metal tab and the model tab respectively. Use the tools from the sheet metal tab to further refine the sheet metal bracket design. To best represent this distinction, some tools have been refined or added, such as the extruded cuts tool. A multi-body part in the sheet metal environment can contain a single body of the category sheet metal and optionally multiple bodies of the category basic solid. That means you can work with a sheet metal body in the context of other regular geometry bodies. These can represent construction bodies as illustrated so far or be regular bodies of type basic solid. They can be created within the sheet metal part design environment or inserted using data sharing features such as external copy geometry. The external copy geometry tool offers a follow surface option. Select the follow surface checkbox so that inserted bodies follow the bend and unbend operations on the sheet metal body. Unfold and flatten operations only apply to the geometry in the sheet metal body. Use the Boolean operation subtract to subtract geometry of the selected basic solid body from the sheet metal body. Using multibody, it is easier and there's more flexibility when designing sheet metal parts in the design context. This reduces complexity by avoiding external or circular referencing and you have the freedom to define space claim in a master model and detail out the derived parts.